I imagine... I really hope we, we get to, like, have a legitimate conversation with Aramis Stilton. Something perceivable, you know? Oh! The lock is gone because he never got locked up by Jindosh. Ha! That's funny. This place is gonna be different, isn't it? Oh no! What the fuck? Hey, outsider! Look around you. A crumbling island at the very edges of the void. But this one is special. It's the place where my throat was cut. 4,000 years ago. What? This is where my life ended. And where it began again. It's where they made me. This it's part where... of the void feels older. Who made him? So he's a result of, like, people messing around with... ...magic? So he is a- he- he didn't exist first! Oh shit. Up until the end, I thought I'd find a way to escape. I fought, but the rooms only cut my skin, so I went limp. And then the knife touched my throat, and I knew I'd waited too long. The blood ran out, and I became a god. Now you know Delilah's secret. At the end of her days, she drifted to the void and should have been lost forever. But her will and cunning are second to none. She found this place. The island in the void where I became what I am. It changed her. And she discovered a way to draw from it. Tapping into the power here. Delilah is... a part of me now. And I don't like it. <laughs> and I don't like it. Well, at least he's very clear about that. So what the hell are these guys doing? I mean, obviously they were sacrificing him, trying to do like a ritual thing in order to gain power, but did it work out for them? Did... Obviously the Outsider has... a lot of power of his own. So I imagine as soon as he became a god, he was just like, Yeah, you're all dead, you idiots. <laughs> you have to give Delilah credit. She tore out a piece of herself and hid it away, inside a thing made of bones. She's made herself immortal. If you want to kill Delilah, you're going to have to find her spirit and give it back to her. Reaching it won't be easy, but what comes after that might be the hardest thing you will ever have to do. I don't like the sounds of that. The hardest thing you've ever had to do? I've done a lot. If it has to be some kind of like sacrifice thing, like, oh, in order to destroy this statue, you're gonna have to sacrifice Anton, or Megan, or even Emily, I'm not gonna be really happy about that. I like how we do get like a little image of this place, more in color than the like, black and white thing. Oh yeah, he's fucking... <laughs> he was smoking out of his thumb earlier. Won't be doing much of that now, will he? The, the way world out. is full of secrets. Alright. Well, are we, uh, old Batista District, so it's not gonna be the Dust District now, right? Where it's all fucked up? Alright. Back to the skiff. Sokolov should be waiting. United Miners are Karnaka. Apparently the family committee made a request. Too much dust was pissing down. Well, at least Stilton listens to them. More than I can say for the Grand Guard. Yeah, the Duke is rotten and it spreads out from there. Whoa. But Airman Stilton is a good man. I'll tell him you said that. He drinks at my brother's pub. He knows we appreciate him. Karnaka has problems, but it could be a lot worse here in this district. Alright, so the dust district has changed, because that was the area we went in beforehand. That used to be like a door- a doorway. And now... the time when I could go to sleep without wondering if I'd wake up. This place has- well, actually, I don't think this place changed? I remember... 
coming through here, but now there's other shit for us to go through. Woman heading up the family committee. What's her name again? Lucia Pastor. She's supposed to talk to Stilton soon about new safety rules for the mines. Fewer hours for the children working down there, too. Why does Pastor children care in the first place? She isn't one of us. Never seen her carrying a pick or a shovel. There's a rumor that she was in love with a miner, someone who died in an accident. They say his body's still under the mountain, buried in silver. I think Lucia Pastor just has a good heart and a strong will. Well, if Stilton listens to what she has to say, instead of following every idiotic request coming from the Grand Palace, I won't complain. Stilton's not a bad man. I bet things would be a lot worse without him running the mines. <laughs> they have no, no idea. All right. Let's go ahead and grab some of these. So how much do we actually have laying around? We have uh, one rune and three bone charms. Nito. Where the hell is it? Ah, it's in the box. Unnerving target. I really wish you could just have a thing that shows you what you got without having to do this. Without having to open up your list constantly. Enemies sometimes drop grenades and thrown debris at their feet. Okay. This is the Duke of Circonus. Sometimes you just randomly blow yourself up. Because of Stilton, he can't run the miners down into, like, the worst possible state. With all of them just dying and starving and just everything awful happening to them. That's funny. So he's just angry about that. I want my army! Mechanical soldiers! And Stilton's ruining that for me! What the hell, Stilton? Air means less dusty long. Oh, shit. Uh, hello. Lucia Pastor, right? You deserve thanks for helping the people here. Considering who you are, I don't know whether to feel honored that you recognize me or to yell at you for propping up the Duke while he's shitting all over Circonos. And who do you think I am? I'm not stupid. Whether the newspapers and the posters in the street are right or wrong, I know who you are, and I hope you're here to end Luca Abella's tyranny. Either way, we haven't been sitting around waiting for you to clean up your mess. Sounds like you have a plan. No, nothing that solid. Not yet. But I believe the Duke will fall, eventually. All I can say is that when you reach the Grand Palace, just be aware that not everyone there is your enemy. Trust your judgment. All right. I'll remember that. Anyway, good luck. There's still a chance to make something new here in Karnaka. Something that serves everyone, not just some rapacious bastard with a title. Okay. When they go to the Grand Palace, don't kill and knock at everyone on sight. Be cautious about it. Well, I think I can knock out everyone. I mean, it's not like they're dying, they're just being put down a little bit. Overseer Liam Byrne. Contrary to what the Abbey believes, I do not hate them. But no one tells me when to stop drinking. <laughs> and how is it possible to eat when someone is sermonizing on the risks of consuming vermin? Why is this even a question? Whoever wanted to eat rat flesh in the first place? Apart from the fortunate poor, they're excluded from palace functions. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty amused by his announcements. He's just like this really deluded rich guy. Like, yeah, among, you know, tons of deluded rich people, but it, this is a pretty intense level. Ooh, free sleeping darts, fuck yeah. Okay. I don't know if I'm, like, remembering the area wrong? What are you covering your face for? Keep the dust out? Cause I want- I want to go to the black market. 
and get a couple of things, but I guess for now we're just gonna have to wait. Uh, is this a window? No. I mean, they are windows, but it's not one that's enterable. Let me mark that one. How do I get to you, friend? Well... Aha! Because I have my powers back, I'm gonna have to relearn my powers. Blast resistant. Man, Lord knows that one's gonna be pretty obvious. Blast resistance. You take less damage from explosions. Yeah, I don't think I'd ever really need that one. Not even in the lethal playthrough. Like, what am I gonna do? Throw myself at grenades and shit like that? No. Although, I guess you are gonna get under attack by grenades, and that's something different. Hmm. Okay, what is that? To Anton Sokolov. Well, what about the black bone shot? Is this the exit, or just... Maybe no one will even notice. The but things area. have changed here for the better. Ah. It's a tunnel. It's different. It's got the black bone charge. Void armor. Now that sounds cool. Void armor. When you take damage, a significant portion is instead subtracted from mana. Nice. Although I... I, I'm good. <laughs> I don't lose as much health from, uh... From much. I take more damage from myself than anything. You're back. That was quick. So, what did you guys perceive? Sorry I couldn't take you to see Stilton myself. But I guess you found the place. Years back, Stilton was always quiet about the Duke. I never figured out just why. It Lucky for the miners, for you to be back here, Aramis Corvo. Stilton does all Changed he can against the Duke's destructive the ways. Stop speaking over each other, but okay. So I think I got generally everything. We got tons of runes from this mission. I don't even... I don't even know exactly what I know. I want to, like, use some of these. Lasting bend time is a, is a good one. Relatively is also pretty good. And then I have to start considering other options because holy crap, we have rooms to spare. Are you ready to leave? The dust is wreaking havoc on my throat. Yep, I'm finally ready to leave this area. Farewell, Dust District. Yes, I found a way to get around Paolo and Burn, and I've been to Stilton's house. Let's go. Okay. Hey, look at that. All right. So this makes up a little bit for the previous mission, uh, where I had to knock some people out and there's just a ton of bodies and alarms being, or uh, detections and everything going off. This time, zero, zero. And that makes me happy. What about this? We, yep, there's only one blueprint in the level. Got the paintings, got all the bone charms and the runes. Saved Aramis Stilton from seeing beyond the world. Found the rune in the flooded basement, and visited Aramis Stilton's office in the altered present. We did good. We did good. I mean, we're gonna, I had to replay the mission, and it counts the time for that, but oh well. That was pretty cool. I like being able to traverse through time, although I wish we could have kept our powers. That was kind of annoying. That was really annoying. But oh well. Number 8. Dreadful Whale. You've eliminated most of Duke Luca Abel's key accomplices. Talk to your allies about the Duke before departing, depart, uh, departing for the Grand Palace. It's Abele, but I'm going to keep on saying Abel because I keep Duke seeing Luca it like Abel that. Duke tore down the original palace in Karnaka, where his father once pinned a medal to my chest. Over the ruins, the Duke built a structure that cost enough to feed everyone in Circonos for years. A sprawling estate to humble all others. A monument to his ego. I owe it to the people of my homeland to make this right. In Dunwall, we were content to look the other way as long as the silver kept flowing. I've got to get inside the Grand Palace, deal with the Duke, and find a way to steal Delilah's soul. Jeez, this estate does look pretty ridiculous. But hey, Corvo just called him a Bill too, so I'm not crazy. There are just multiple ways to pronounce it. A beel and a belly. Can't feel it. Ah. This is my last side. 
No! Soon, I'll dissolve it into the great nothing. You deserve peace, my love. I have stayed too long. Find a last spirit. Trap her with this cage of dead flesh. Set me free. I don't understand. You will very soon. Oh, is that gonna be the hard choice? I'm gonna have to use her spirit in order to destroy Delilah's spirit? Jeez. Something like that. I guess I'll find out, like she said, very soon. <laughs> he got rid of the, the timepiece. We can no longer try and travel back and forth through time. Wouldn't that have been something if that had been like a consistent thing throughout the rest of the game? Oh my god. Just that whole double shifting mechanic. Except then we could also have it with our awesome. powers. Living in a palace and power out of the same. I regret my affiliation with oh, the Oh, Amir But his father and I were close. It was my hope that Luca would eventually grow up and learn that his actions as ruler of Sirkonos have very real consequences. <laughs> he could always count on the backing of Dunwall's finances and navy. Maybe without that, he would have developed a healthy respect for the people of Sirkonos. Fear of the executioner's block has been a fine motivator for many a ruler. Once the Duke falls, it's my hope that we can build something better here. Something more representative and inclusive. So what you're saying is... We should have Aramis Stilton... Run for the next Duke. I'd be up for that. Let me very quickly look around. I guess Duke of Bell felt alright tearing down the old palace. I have fond memories of that place. Paolo had ambitions. All fallen to pieces now. I never liked the Abbey. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> That's all he had to say about it. Now that things have changed, Stilton might be able to make a difference after the Duke falls. Cool. I almost went into a playthrough without saving the Duke. That would have been bad. Hey. What is this? Oh, lay out of the area. Yeah, I'm not gonna remember, like, half of this shit. Uh, alright, let me see if I can commit some things to memory. On the second floor is where there's pretty much half of all the cool stuff, but there's six floors to this place, so... We're gonna have to do a lot of exploration, but the first and second floor have the majority of, of things to check out. With the dining room, the grand throne chamber, uh, Duke of Bill's office is on the fourth floor, Private garden on the second floor. Okay, all right, all right. So the fourth and fifth floor are actually where the most important, important things are going to be. We have to find the chambers. And there, are, there might even be some other secret things. Are you ready for this? I've broken into palaces before. They're made to keep out armies. Stopping a single man who's dedicated to his cause that's another story altogether. Getting inside might not be the hard part. The Duke doesn't exactly run a tight ship. Taking down Duke Abel is only part of the puzzle. You've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for Delilah. You were cryptic about what you gleaned from visiting the Dust District, which is fine. The world is better with a hint of mystery. But once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. I've got a map of the Grand Palace for you, and I know something that may be useful. There's a hidden lever in the pantry that opens a passage to the Duke's vault. If he's keeping anything precious for Delina, I suspect that's where it'll be. Beyond that, good hunting. I'll see what I can do. I know things in Karnaka are fragile. Emily and I have a lot to think about after all this is done. Yep, we are responsible for helping our fellow allied nations. Now that we are actually being forced into a situation where we have to analyze the things that are happening, eh, it works out for the better, actually. Something good can come from this coup. I hope I've been of some help to you. 
It's good to feel useful here near the end of my time. Oh, Sokolov, don't talk like that. Look at you. You look way older than the last time I saw you. than most, Royal Protector. <laughs> he had like full brown hair, now it's all fucking gray. What the hell? I hear the Duke's wine cellar is exquisite. If you happen to pass through. Well, I do want to go through the pantry for that secret lever. I put down a note for it so I even remember it. I remember when you took me from Caldwin's Bridge so long ago. <laughs> it's not widely known, but the Duke has a body double. What? The man is the spitting image of Luca. A likable fellow and quite humble. The guy who looks like Luca? That's funny. I have no idea where they found him, but the Duke's double has spent years passing for the Duke. I suppose Luca always hoped his double would be there to take an assassin bullet. Take care. I hope to see you again. So I'm gonna have to figure out which one is the real one, maybe? Uh push out into the harsh world. You are, you are alone. But for a few hours. Still and the usual cruelty associated with such endeavors. There's great sadness in him. He misses his friend and confidant, the old Duke, the Adonis, and the Stilton. Like the ore he mines, there is something of value underneath that gruff exterior. He's a really nice guy, I get it. Stilton devised a mask to help the miners take in less dust as they work. He wants silver, not sick workers. Yeah, we actually saw that mask. And I imagine that because he actually stuck around this time around, they're still there. Really? Okay, well, what about him? Anton Sokolov, painter. Inventor and philanderer, famous throughout the aisles, loyal only to himself. Oh god, it might be trying to reset for them. No, we don't need to hear every single line of dialogue again. Let me run through the ship real quick because there have been a couple of times where we showed up in the ship. How? Hold on, what? Anyway, there have been a couple of times where we run through the ship and there's like new sh new things around. Oh, hey, a map of the area, or the, uh, the, the continents. Bristol! That's where we live, down here at Dunwall. And then across the ocean to Circonos, Karnaka, Laro, Neat, Whitecliff, Pullwig, Potterstead, Bailton, Redmore, Driscoll. They have so many places where they can just be like, yeah, here's Dishonored 3 and 4. It just takes place on all these other continents, but I still want to check out the Bendisian continent at some point. Now we're going after the one who started it all. The Duke himself. I forgot the thrill of it. Planning drop-off points. Picking the approach. Thinking about the best ways to kill somebody who lives behind high walls. But with the excitement, there's a black echo that comes back to me for what I did at Dunwall Tower. If what? anyone deserves killing, though, it's Duke Luca Abel. I've loved a number of women, and even a couple of men. I've never loved anyone like my Deirdre. After I left home, those first years on the street, She's all that kept me from the bottom of the river. I could sleep on a pile of garbage under a leaky awning as long as she was there with me. Sharing a tin of potted meat or a bottle of brandy. And we nicked during the day. The Duke and his little brother came through Dunwall. And Deirdre and I got in their way as they stepped out of their fancy coach. The Duke goaded his brother, calling us wharf roaches. And it was the brother who swung the stick that killed her. His 
flooding her skull. There were wooden gazelles on top of the coach. And I snapped one off and drove it into his eye, as deep as it would go. Deirdre was already gone. That is a door now. Lying in the muck, staring up at the great Dunwall sky. On the run after that, I was hunted by the City Watch and even members of the Grand Guard up from Zirkonos. People looked at me like I was cursed, spitting whenever I got close. Everyone knew I'd bring trouble. Even the gangs. The Duke's brother has been dead for a long time. But now was my chance to get back at Luca Abel for setting him off against pretty, young Deirdre. Nothing was the same for me after they took her away. Jesus Christ. She started off talking about the plan and bringing back memories of planning kills and stuff. And then there was like a, a maybe a hint drop that she did something at Dunwall Tower, possibly even related to killing the Empress or something. And then she went on and gave the rest of her backstory, Jesus Christ. Let me check something real quick. Okay. First off, oh shit, she has her arms and limbs back. I didn't notice that until I read the Wikipedia article. So I read up on Wiki, I was like, all right, we obviously, she obviously had something to do with Dunwall, and I feel like I remember her, and that's because she's actually in the first game, or at least the first game's DLC, the Knife of Dunwall DLC. She's one of the assassins who worked for Dowd, so she was involved in killing the Empress. She also has outsider abilities. I don't know if she has them still, but she had outsider abilities in the past. And so that's what she's referring to about the whole planning and stuff, because she was a legitimate assassin with fucking outsider abilities. Ah, oh. I understand now. <laughs> Should we head toward the palace? No, yeah, give me Just a second. A more time. <laughs> so her reaction to that is like, oh, yeah, all right, I know now. <laughs> I get it. You have powers. Okay, let's get a move on. Should we head toward the palace? We should head out. That's one of those things that makes me really wish that I had played through Dishonored 1 again, or at least the DLCs. Because the DLCs are, like, super related to Dishonored 2. We have Megan, who was a character from the Dunwall DLC. And then we have Delilah, who was from the Brigamore Witches DLC. And... It's been years since I played those. Four years, I don't remember all of this shit. Here's at this really palace. character just staring the at the face. The like body double, meant to confuse assassins. A friend of mine washes the linens and said the double is a smoker, if that helps. Maybe you can talk to him. She says he's a nice guy. What a shitty job, pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. Why don't they just overthrow him? He's got an army control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. At the Duke's parties, people carve up the country while eating boiled crap. There were parties like that in Dunwall. Toadies sucking up to Emily made me want to be back on the streets in Sirkonos. You're forgetting what that's like. I watched those party lights from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept. In the flooded district. I know you struggled. After years of court, I'm a nobody again. But what I've seen here will stay with me when I return to Dunwall Tower. Being in Karnaka again has given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. Alright, Megan, maybe you should turn out your lights so no one notices you down here, although I guess we're chilling out next to a light source. Anyway, so that doesn't matter. Okay. 
This is gonna be very intriguing. Is this the palace or is this an area leading up to the palace? I'm assuming it's an area leading up to the palace because we obviously have to stop by a uh, black market shop before anything else happens. So let me very quickly glance around. We don't have anything immediate. The closest charm or rune is that one, supposedly, and then there's also that one over there. I'll leave them unmarked for now. So, does Delilah or Empress Jasmine have anything to say about her? She's almost as secretive as you. Megan Foster. She wasn't always a ship captain. It was years ago. The two were inseparable. There was no food, but there was love. Those brief days on the street with her childhood friend. The happiest time she's known. And then it was taken away from her by the Duke. Because convenient writing says this character had a run-in with the Duke. Push out into the harsh world. Sorry, you if I are sound alone. alone. But Don't turn your back on like this. Megan, she can be trusted to a point. But I cannot see past the anger. How much rage can hide things? Even from an incorporeal spirit thing like yourself? Always hunger back then, on the streets of Dunwall. Hunger and fear. She learned to be brutal to survive. Oh, she's naturally from Dunwall? So the Duke killed her while he was visiting Dunwall? Are you kidding me? See, I'm, I'm just as like a little note. That's a suspension of disbelief thing. Like, I could understand if the Duke was responsible for getting Deidre killed indirectly because he's just such a fucking asshole and tyrant but the running into him part directly in the streets and losing her lover to his brother then killing the brother then getting away then turning into a life of assassinations and stuff like that and getting access to the outsider's powers is just like oh, oh okay once while he was getting a shave. After we leave Karnaka, there are some things we need to talk about. Things I feel remorse over. I know not everyone who lives in a great palace is a snake, but it's real easy to get accustomed to eating off silver plates. <laughs> She's got so much riding on her. I just like with, with all the stuff that we just learned, from finding out that she was responsible, well, she was one of the assassins responsible, and all the other if you stuff. you figure out which one is the Duke's double, you that might so want weird. to see what he knows. You wouldn't believe it. But I could have ended the Duke a long, long time ago. Wish I had now. If something happens and you don't make it back, I might have a go at Duke Abel. When this is done, we leave Karnaka at once. I won't be sorry to leave this city. I've done all I can here. I've earned what I've got. Even the scars. Especially the scars. Take care of yourself. We'll be there when you're ready. I'm just waiting until she runs out of dialogue, especially... Jessamine. She, she wakes, wakes choking, choking. Hearing the screams of a young, young girl. Watching. Her mother die. Jesus Christ. You have a really tragic backstory, lady. I can tell you that every year she was a smuggler. And worse before that. She has not always chosen her companions wisely. But she truly cares for Sokol. I can feel it. I can see why she cares so much for Sokol. Both of them are trying to atone for their past. Maybe there are things beyond forgiveness. Says the dead lady that they may have indirectly killed. Actually, I don't remember Sokolov was involved in all that. We know she was, but I don't remember if Sokolov was. She has secrets I will not reveal. She 
she may tell, tell you in time. Wow. It was not her hand that held the knife. knife. <laughs> Fine. Okay, one last one. Things would have been different for her if her young friend had survived the attack all those years ago. Yeah, we've seen what happens with very slight changes to the past. The real question is now, will the world implode on itself because of this? Are there things that just shouldn't be tampered with? Stuff comes in. It's got to get where it's going. That's why they call it the black market. Can't just sit here. Too much chance a grand guard catches on to us. What's the new clue? Dock workers. Smugglers are waiting at their boat to deliver contraband to a nearby black market shop. Their captain went ahead to arrange for delivery. Pick it up. What's the delay getting it to the shop? Bet you afraid we'll get caught? The guy that runs the shop is nervous. But if they just let us move it straight off the boat. Now, I got a friend over at the shop. Been running protection for black market shops for years here in Karnaka and over at Colorado. So there's basically no risk. What's your name? Uh-uh. That's a secret. These guys deal with me and nobody else. Job secured. Okay. So I guess I might have to follow the captain in order to talk with the black market guy. Or to find the black market guy. I mean, I'm sure I could find him on my own. Oi! I am very curious about what's going on down here. Take me to your leader. This job ain't so bad. Beats cheating people all day in a bank. <laughs> I can agree with that. Pick any fights you can't finish. Okay, I'm gonna get on your boat. Because maybe there are things in here that I would like. Ooh, look at that. Delivery boat key needed. They have quite a few items and an audiograph. I could probably listen to the audiograph just by doing this. Whoops. I can't. They're smart. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the money, guys. So they didn't have the key, which means I'm gonna have to run into the black market area and possibly get a mission. My family and I moved here three years ago. Biggest mistake we ever made. Air is a bit thick. Dust has been a problem lately. Okay, well, you know what? Let me apply some of these runes while we're here so I don't forget. Um, I would like to get the time-related abilities. Because this is always good. Do I have everything for Blink that I care for? Yes. I wish... And I'm gonna talk more about this when we beat the game, but I wish there was more non-lethal stuff that I could care for. Like, Blink Assault is cool for lethal players. You literally just throw yourself at the enemy, and you kick them and they just die. <laughs> or you blink and you immediately assassinate them without any kind of fluff if they don't know you're there. And that's awesome! But where's the non-lethal version? You know, that, that, that would be nice if there could be, like, paths that could get locked off if you're trying to go lethal or non-lethal. And then Premonition, we well, don't know what that one looks like just yet. That one's kind of like, uh, it may be amazing or it could just be bad. 